Aaron, there's a lot of pinstripes on your Instagram feed. Are you ready to check out some of your top posts? Yeah, let's see it. Ooh, baby on the way. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, having a baby boy is uh, going to be Aaron Hicks Jr., so pretty stoked on that one. So you already have the name picked out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to be Jr. He's going to be pretty dope. I'm, I'm excited for it. But since you know it's going to be a boy and you got the name, you see so many players, whether it's like the Griffies or the Bonds. Are you kind of already envisioning him playing baseball one day? I don't think I'm going to force him into playing baseball. Uh, I will force him into playing golf, so that way I have somebody to play golf with. But other than that, if he wants to play baseball, then uh, obviously I'll be in on it. Next picture, this is a Father's Day post. This is you and your brother, who we've seen here at a Yankee Stadium plenty of times down in spring training. Yeah. You guys have a really good relationship. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. My my brother, he has uh, he has four kids now. He's been a great dad. You know, that's my brother right there. So uh, I love him a lot. And another Father's Day post: yourself and your father. Yeah, uh, that was back when I used to have hair. So uh, <laughs> that's pretty dope. <laughs> Did you see the no hair coming after uh, what he looks like? Uh, no, he always told me it was coming though. <laughs> yeah, that's my that's my dad, Joe Hicks, uh, senior. Is he where you got all your golf skills and baseball skills from? Is he athletic back in the day or what? Uh, yeah, my dad was actually a uh, three-sport athlete in high school. Uh, he did uh, basketball, football, and track. Actually, four-sport. He did baseball as well. But yeah, it's definitely where I got my uh, my athleticism from. Little airplane fun. The video that Dee Dee would made of you disappearing. <laughs> yeah, that was a video we uh, Dee Dee made and was messing around with uh, back in uh, 16 when I first came over here. Um, he was just learning how to make people disappear and do stuff like that on the internet. So yeah, that was a pretty dope post. That helps time fly by too. No pun intended, yeah. but right? <laughs> exactly. A lot of people know you as a big time golfer outside of playing baseball, but you also love Supercross, and this is a cool thing that you guys did together. Some of you and your teammates going to uh, check out a Supercross. Event. Yeah, there's one in Tampa, so uh, I took the guys out to go watch it, and then obviously have my trainer um, there, so he knows how much I like Supercross, so we can't train on those days. So, <laughs> yes, obviously, we had fun that day. Uh, CC came. I mean, Didi has the best shirt, I think, uh, out of all of us. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I didn't notice that until after I uh, actually, uh, you know, uh, displayed the picture on Instagram. So the hug dealer. Yeah, the hug dealer. <laughs> so you did that in Tampa. You also did it out in Los Angeles. It's a cool sport. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's crazy, man, how fast they go. You don't realize how fast they're going when you're uh, when you're up in your seats until the lower you get. And they're they're moving when they're down there. Yeah, yeah. So that was Bubba Stewart, who's actually my favorite rider. Um, he was crazy fast and. Uh, and reckless, so uh, he has a lot of wipeouts, but at the same time, he's uh, he's a cool dude. Uh, uh, the first day I met him actually was was probably the dopest time uh, I think I've ever had at the track. And Supercross is uh, not not an easy sport to to, to kind of um, get into. So yeah, he's been awesome at it for years, and uh, I mean, damn, it's crazy to watch him go around. We got to get to the golf portion. Okay. Here you go. You brought the tailor-made golf clubs to Yankee Stadium. We see the rug. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a nice set of clubs. Uh huh. Yeah, uh, Taylor made actually hooked me up with those clubs right there. Uh, I was looking for some blades to, to play with, and actually called one of my buddies over there, Taylor made, and uh, you know he set it up for me. He was like, all you gotta do is sh uh, show some love, and I was like, I can definitely do that for some for some clubs. I mean, these are these are dope. I mean, uh, I love these clubs. And we can't just show the clubs. We gotta show the swing. Take okay. us through this. Yeah, so I was actually working on my uh, my sniper shot. Uh, I think I was doing this for about an hour, uh, just trying to hit it right, and this is the only video I got of it. So, <laughs> yeah, this is a little sniper video right here, a little sniper shot right there. What a swing. Oh, yeah, you knew it. Yeah, yeah I knew it was a good shot, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Such a big golf fan that you were Tiger Woods one year uh, for Halloween. Halloween, yeah. Yeah. Oh. On my, oh, hey. Yeah, hey, all it. right, all right. <laughs> yeah, so that was actually, uh, I think I had the little, the little segue thing is what I'm actually on right now. Um, you know, back when that was that was cool. So, uh, yeah, it was, uh, of course, I mean, Tiger's probably the easiest one for me to get into uh, as far as getting things for it because I have most of it at my house, so, <laughs> yeah. This is the first time in all of history that the Yankees gonna put their names on the back of their jerseys. You better not mess up, A.A. Ron. 
You done messed up. Keegan Michael Key, he gave you a cool message here at Yankee Stadium for Players Weekend when you got the AA run. Yeah. So that was pretty cool that you got that. Yeah. And ended up with the Christmas shirt. Yeah, of course, I needed that. <laughs> uh, I actually saw that on Instagram and I was like, yo, I gotta have that for this, uh, this Christmas. We see all these Instagram posts. What's your favorite part about Instagram and what do you love showing to the fans most? Um, for, for me, I mean, one thing I love about it is that you can get in touch with so many different kind of people. I mean, I've gotten in touch with people that play diff completely different sports than me, uh, which I think is awesome because, I mean, um, you always want to meet people in other sports and uh, just to kind of, you know, kind of see what they do on a, on a daily basis and how they prepare for, for each day of uh, their job. So, I mean, I've met a lot of my uh, golf buddies actually on Instagram. Some of them I met out, you know, out on the golf course. But, uh, you know, it's just dope to kind of uh, just kind of see what they do and, uh, you know, how they prepare for each match and each tournament. And uh, it's pretty awesome. They know a good swing when they see yeah. one, right? Yeah, definitely, yeah. So I, I think that's probably the, the craziest part for, for them to see me uh, hit a golf ball. And I mean, it's crazy because I mean, uh, I'm so close, but so far away, you know? It's, <laughs> I mean, I have the game for it, but just they're just that much better and uh, they make the game seem easy. And uh, you know, it's pretty awesome to see that. Okay, so what could people expect and why should they follow you? Why should they follow me? I mean, I don't know, I don't. I don't... Learn a thing or two about golf. Yeah. To see some cool sports maybe. If you want to follow me, just go ahead and give me a follow, and I, of course, I'd appreciate the follow. I mean, um, I'm I'm gonna show you, you know, kind of kind of things that I like to do and the kind of person that I am, and you know, if you like that kind of things, I mean, I guess I'm the perfect person to to follow in that way.